In this video, we're going to look at how to add and subtract fractions using this fractions tool strip. And I'll provide a link to that so that you can follow along and that you can also do some questions with the fraction strips tool. So one of the things about the fraction strip tool that's nice is that you have a whole bunch of fractions here on the right side of the page. I'm going to grab um, some fourths. In fact, the arrow at the top here, you can see, shows how much of your won't see it oh yeah how much of the rectangle is co covered in so you can see everything's covered in i want i'm going to grab out four fourths here which is the equivalent of one whole we'll just talk a little bit about some of the fractions that we've seen before so this is one whole it's divided into four chunks or four sections they're all equal in size and i'm just going to click on up here on the top left this button that says one fourth what that does is it shows me the fractions labels uh, on the fraction strips. And if I click one more time, then I can see that each one of these yellow squares is one fourth of the entire box. Now we're going to talk about some, I guess what we'll call benchmark fractions, the important ones for us. We've used them before with our measurement. Here is one fourth right here. This is two fourths, also known as one half. And this is three fourths over here three-fourths right there. So that is going to help us with our adding and subtracting fractions. So we'll always work in, uh, in wholes, halves, and fourths. So those are the key benchmark fractions for us. All right, let's do an example. I guess I'll bring that back. We'll do an example here. And that example will be an adding example. So when we add, we're going to take a certain number and we'll add some extra. So I'm going to start with this example right here, which is going to be, call this example A. This will be, let's say, 1 and 3 fourths plus 1 half. So the way that we can do this question is to grab one whole. So we need 1 and 3 fourths. Sorry, that's a bad looking fourth, but that is a 4. Let's see if I can fix that up. Hopefully that's a little bit better. All right, so we're going to, we need one hole. Well, here's the one hole at the top, so I'm going to drag that out. And I also need three fourths. So I don't need four fourths, so I'm going to slide this bar so I only get three fourths. Oh, and it looks like I accidentally got four fourths. That's okay, I'm just going to click on that extra fourth. Whoa, and get rid of it. Let's try that again. This should give us three fourths. Let's see if it works. There we go. I don't know what happened the first time, but there's our three fourths. So one and three fourths right there. And from that, we're going to add, or to that, I should say, we're going to add one half. I'm going to click over here, drag out one half. So the goal is to add these things together. Now, one other thing I want to show you nice thing about this tool is that you can see that it's a bit tricky to kind of add these. I can't just stick that one half into the box here, the empty box, because it's too big. But what we can do is we can subdivide all of these so that they're the same size. So this box right here so shows fourths. This box is showing halves. It would be great if it could show fourths. And we can do that by clicking on this thing that kind of looks like a ruler up here. And when we do that, you can see that I see ruler here for both, uh, I guess technically all three, indicating the fourths on this fraction, the halves on this fraction, and the whole here. If I click on that ruler one more time, then you can see that I can actually change all of these pictures to show me fourths. So for example, I can see that there are two fourths in one half, and I'm going to do the same thing for the whole. It, have it divided into fourths, so I can see that there are four fourths in that whole. So I want to add these two things together. So what I can do is I can take my one and three fourths and drag my half right up into that empty space, and it will create, uh, it will add it in for me. So you can see that I still have one hole over here on the left. Maybe I'll just get the pencil out so I can draw here. So I still have one hole over here. So that's one hole. And now I have one, two, three, four fourths here, this being another hole. And, and the, the fraction strip tool shows that by these little lines on the top and the bottom. 
there's another hole right there. So it's one hole plus another hole. And then there's one section, one little section right here that's filled in as well. Remember that each of those sections was a fourth. So that's a fourth. So then what is one and three quarters plus a half? Well, it's one plus another one. So that's two. And then we also had this one fourth left over. So we get two and one fourth. So a uh, nice simple way to be able to add fractions. Now, if you, if you don't want to use the fraction strip tool, you don't have to. You could just draw a picture. Just make sure that you subdivide into equal parts like we did here with the fourths. The, the nice thing is here is that the fraction strip tool can do this for us fairly easily. Let's see if I, I just want to move this so that we can do our next example. I don't know if I can move the text. Maybe not. All right. I'll do our next example up here. So that was an example for addition. Let's look at a subtraction example. So our subtraction example will be 2 and 1 fourth take away 1 and 1 half. 1 and 1 half. All right, so let's start with our two holes. Holes going to look like this. There's 1, 2, and one fourth. One fourth, whoops, being right about, yeah, right there. So there's two and one fourth. And from that, we need to take away one and one half. And again, we should probably do the same thing we did the last time is subdivide all of these into the same amount. So the fourths is the smallest unit here. So let's subdivide all the rest of these into into fourths. That'll just make it easy for us to see. And we can do that one too. All right, so I have one, two, and one fourth, and I need to take away, take away one and a half. So all I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab something that's the same size. So I'm going to take away one. So that's, that's the one done. It's taken away. And then I need to take away a half. So that's a little harder. I can't just take this away. I can't just take this. Well, I could take this away. So if I take away one fourth, that leaves me there. But I, I don't want a fourth. I want a half. So what I can do is say, well, a half. And, I, and I'm going to try to do this over here. Maybe I'll just grab the pencil again. You know what I'm going to do to make this easier? Is I'm going to trade this one for a one that looks like this because that'll be easier. Even though we subdivided it, in, ugh, pardon me, subdivided it into fourths. Well, let's try that again. Uh, I, I think I actually want this one because I can manipulate things around. So remember our goal here, I just replaced a one with another one that's yellow one divided into fourths. Uh, I need to take away a half. Well, here's one fourth and here's another fourth. And you can see, so I've taken away the the red one. I've taken away a half that was two fourths. And this over here is what I'm left with. So I'm left with this right here. And you can see that there is one, two, three fourths. So this is equal to three fourths. So a little trickier there because we we replaced the the one that was a solid one with a one that was individual fourths, just to make this subtracting a little bit easier. All right, hopefully that helps in figuring 